Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel, I hope. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Curse of Oak Island Historic First Nation Artifact Find Leads to Team Ceasing Work This week on The Curse of Oak Island, the team found themselves in a state of despair after they were ordered to cease operations in a hugely important area of the island. The guys spent a lot of this week working on the southeastern corner of the swamp, where they found a couple of very significant artifacts. Unfortunately, one of these artifacts would prove to be so significant that it caused the guys to cease working. Firstly, Rick Lugina appeared to stumble upon a brand new stone feature, which seemed to be an arrangement of human place cobblestones. This led the guys to wonder if it was another section of the cobblestone roadway that they spent last year uncovering. Rick enlisted the help of surveyor Steve Guptill to work out if the feature was part of the stone roadway and where it was going. Guptill later concluded that it was part of the roadway and that it was leading directly to the C1 borehole cluster, where they recently found gold, in the money pit area. Rick called this another aha moment and later stated that this find could be hugely significant for their work. Oak Island team discovered ancient First Nation pottery. However, archaeologists Laird Niven and Liz Michaels also came across an intriguing find, a very old and very delicate piece of pottery. Laird almost instantly identified it as belonging to the Micmac people, First Nation Native Americans who traditionally inhabited Nova Scotia. This meant the pottery could be between 500 and 2,500 years old. Laird followed the rules as laid out by Nova Scotia's Department of Communities, Culture, and Heritage, CCH, and informed that organization and the Acadia First Nation Council of the find. He'd also warned the Lagina brothers that the CCH might ask them to stop working in that area. And sure enough, that's precisely what the CCH did. The Acadia First Nation Council and the CCH requested all the data and maps that the guys had of the area and asked the fellowship to cease and desist immediately until they could get their own people to review the data and visit the island. The CCH provided our guys with a map of the island where they shaded various parts in red. Red men off limits. The fellowship were now excluded from four acres of the island including the area with the stone roadway. Oak Island team reacted with anger to cease and desist order. Marty Lagina's anger and frustration boiled over. He pointed out that the team wanted to cooperate with the authorities, but felt they were now being hampered on their own island. It seems the more they uncover, the more of their island is taken away from them. Marty spoke of throwing in the towel and just concentrating their efforts solely in the money pit area the one part of the island where the guys still have free reign. At this point, the war room took on the atmosphere of a funeral. There were depressed, sullen faces all around the table. Laird sat with his head in his hands. Praise be to Rick Lagina and Gary Drayton. These guys managed to drag the others out of the fug. Rick calmly said, There's a way to move forward, and I think we should. He raised morale by pointing out that the drilling program in the money pit shows real hope and promise. Gary said, This roadblock has been thrown in front of us. We're going to go somewhere else and find something spectacular. Smiles began breaking out around the table, and Rick added, We'll find a way through this. Let's just keep moving forward. Asterisk, the curse of Oak Island Asterisk, has long been a captivating tale of mystery, treasure, and relentless pursuit. For over a decade, the Lagina brothers and their team have dug, dredged, and drilled into the very heart of Oak Island, chasing legends of buried riches. Yet, for all their efforts, the island itself has often seemed to guard its secrets jealously. But this season, the search took a turn unlike any other, leading the team to an unexpected crossroads. The discovery of a First Nation artifact that forced them to reconsider their mission. Hashtag, 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 the unearthed relic. It began like any other day on the island. The team, equipped with state-of-the-art technology and boundless determination, had their sights set on a new promising location. 
The early morning sun bathed the island in golden light, casting long shadows that seemed to whisper of the secrets buried deep within the earth. As the excavators roared to life, anticipation hung heavy in the air. The ground was unyielding, as it often was, but the crew was accustomed to the island's stubbornness. Hours passed, and the sun climbed higher, beating down on the team as they toiled away. It was just after noon when the unexpected happened. The excavator's bucket hit something solid, but it wasn't the clang of metal they had hoped for. It was the dull thud of wood, ancient and worn by time. As the crew carefully dug around it, they uncovered a small, intricately carved wooden artifact. It was unlike anything they had found before. The artifact was immediately recognized as significant. Marty Legina, ever the skeptic, but with a keen eye for history, noticed the intricate patterns etched into the wood. It wasn't long before they realized they had unearthed something of profound cultural importance, a First Nation artifact possibly centuries old. Hashtag, 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 the weight of history. The discovery sent ripples through the team. They had always known that Oak Island's history was deep and complex, but this was something different. This wasn't a treasure of gold or jewels. It was a piece of living history, a tangible connection to the First Nations people who had called this land home long before European explorers set foot on its shores. Rick Legina, the heart and soul of the expedition, felt the weight of the discovery more than anyone. The Lagina brothers had always approached their quest with respect for the island and its history, but this find demanded a different kind of reverence. They realized they were not just treasure hunters anymore, they were stewards of history. The team gathered around the artifact, now carefully placed in a protective case. They knew they had to consult with experts, and quickly. The Mike Mac people, the first nation associated with the region, would need to be involved. The Laginas were determined to handle the situation with the utmost respect, but they also knew that this could mean a major shift in their operation. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag consulting the elders. Within days, representatives from the Mi'kmaq community were on site. Elders and historians examined the artifact, their expressions a mix of awe and sadness. The item was indeed of Mi'kmaq origin, likely a ceremonial object possibly even a totem of spiritual significance. The implications were clear. This wasn't just a relic. It was a sacred object, and its discovery on Oak Island suggested that the area had once held significant importance to the Mi'kmaq people. The conversation that followed was not an easy one. The Mi'kmaq representatives explained that while they respected the Lacanus quest, the island might hold more than just the treasure they sought. It could be a burial ground or a place of spiritual significance, and further digging could disturb these sacred sites. Rick, always the first to empathize, felt the gravity of their words. The Laginus had always prided themselves on their ethical approach, but this was a challenge they hadn't anticipated. The team was now at a moral crossroads. Hashtag, 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 a decision weighed with respect. After days of deliberation, the Lagina brothers called a meeting. The mood was somber, the weight of responsibility heavy on their shoulders. They had always believed in the importance of their quest, not just for themselves, but for history. However, they had also always believed in doing what was right. Rick spoke first, his voice steady but filled with emotion. We came here seeking treasure, but we found something much more valuable, truth and respect for the people who came before us. We can't continue our work here without considering the impact it may have on the Mike Mac heritage. It's time to pause and rethink our approach. Marty, usually the more pragmatic of the two, agreed. This isn't just about us anymore. It's about preserving history, not just uncovering it. We need to respect the wishes of the Mike Mac people and ensure that whatever we do next is done with their full support.